Hello everyone, and welcome to the first proper video of Cryptadia. The last one was the introduction video, and if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It explains the gist of what this project is. But to summarize, Cryptadia is my Lost World setting speculative evolution project. The island itself is located 75, mi 75 miles west of Africa, the island housing many prehistoric animals that survived to modern day. Though some are the last of their kind, some are the dominant and most commonly found animals on the island. Some species from the island are even the reason for cryptid sightings such as the Wakile Mbembe and the Ropen, even though they look slightly different or straight up and identical to their cryptid counterpart, most likely due to the person first spotting them not being able to see them clearly. In this video, we'll be going over Cryptadia's most common and successful group of dinosaurs, the Encelosaurs, or island lizards as they're more commonly known. Encelosaurs are a group of ornithopod dinosaurs related to animals such as hadrosaurs, iguanodontids, and etc. Though they are far more related to iguanodontines than they are to hadrosaurs, but are still their own separate group. The Encelosaurs consist of six living members, all occupying their own niches and have their own lifestyles. Encelosaurs are found on every part of the island chain of Cryptadia, serving as common prey for carnivores of all sorts, from the ruling monarchs of Panzer Venators and Cochradona Venatrix, to the vassal predators of Vampire Spinus, and even sometimes, certain members of a species will fall prey to pterosaurs such as the Alatus terrorum, and many, many more carnivore species will prey on the Insulosaurs. Before we actually get into the actual animals themselves, I want to give us a brief history of the Encelosaurs. Encelosaurs were separated from their more iguanodontine like ancestors, for example, El Rajasaurus, roughly 92 million years ago, and were largely in the shadow of the giants that roamed Cryptadia when it was still part of the African continent. By the end of the Cretaceous, however, their Cochairodontosaur, Spinosaur, Titanosaur, and other large theropod overlords were gone, and the Encelosaurs had their small generalist ancestors left to take over the island. The extinction that brought about the end of the Mesozoic Era in Cryptadia's timeline is a little different from our own, allowing some non-avian dinosaur species to survive into the Cenozoic Era and all the way up to the modern day, the Encelosaurs being some of the lucky few species to make it today. The Encelosaurus, the namesake of the family, is small by dinosaur standards, with a diet consisting of nuts, fruits, and thick forest jungle plants weighing in at roughly 121 kilograms. Their size is comparable to the extinct Dryosaurus or modern day African topi or cob. Encelosaurs are primarily found in the dense forests and jungles of Cryptadia and are commonly seen in groups of seven or more, with a dominant mated pair leading the group. However, they are forever vigilant of their surroundings, and if they catch any form of disturbance, they let out an alarm, letting their troop know of potential danger. The adults get together and guard the entrance to their burrows, while the young run deep into the burrows or under the flora of the jungle or forest. Most of the time, Encelosaurs prefer to hide or flee, but if a predator happens to be their size or smaller, then the troop will become aggressive, lashing their sharp claws supported by powerful arms for their size, and take nasty bites with their razor-sharp beaks. Their backs are covered in quills, though they are mainly for display, but combat is the last line of defense. If their would-be predator chooses to attack the troop, they disperse from their aggressive state, and the one targeted has to fend for themselves for a short period of time before the troop returns and mobs the carnivore if their groupmate has survived the initial attack. Males and females are hard to tell apart. The only true way to tell is by either getting a DNA test or seeing who stays with the chicks more, as females are known to stay with the chicks 70% of the time, while males stay with the chicks only when the chicks have grown into their adolescent ages. The single-handedly most common herbivore across the entire island chain of Cryptadia. Despite their name meaning swamp lizard, the Polosaurus are found in open grassland to dense jungles, to dry savannas and scrublands, all the way to the muddy swamps. The Polosaurus is guaranteed to be seen when anyone ventures across Cryptadia. Polosaurus serve as one of the most common prey to every carnivore in Cryptadia. From the ruling monarchs, to the high-class vassal predators, to the lonely scavengers, Polosaurus are a staple in the ecosystem of Cryptadia with a weight of around 94 kilograms, these Encelosaurs serve as a fine meal and being found in herds of 24 to 53 individuals at a time. There is no shortage of them whatsoever. The true tricky part in hunting these animals is actually trying to catch them, for one wrong step on the wrong branch, leaf, or twig can send the entire herd running. With a full running speed of 111 kilometers per hour, 
Once spooked, Palosaurs are going to take every ounce of stamina in a carnivore's body to catch. Once caught, however, the kill is almost guaranteed as long as the hunter doesn't slip up or a larger carnivore steals your kill. Palosaurs have a generalist diet, eating everything from nuts, fruits, and sometimes insects, though on very rare occasions, however, and most commonly hardy ferns and even the dry grass during the dry season, though they don't tend to eat too much of that making them stay in large numbers across all islands all year round. Males and females are a little hard to tell apart, but unlike the Insulosaurs, there are actual physical differences, with males having longer antenna-like head feathers used, for display used as display structures and overall more colorful bodies to attract females, while said females have smaller head feathers and dull color patterns. Other than that, the two are identical in weight, size, and everything else. Plectrosaura, or the quill lizard, is a very common and large animal and is present across all three islands. Weighing in at 1.9 tons, as their name suggests, they have rows and rows of sharp quills on their tails, while their upper body, head, and necks are covered in tough scutes. Though not as strong as the osteoderm armor that ankylosaurs have, these scutes still do the trick of making biting onto the plectrosaur take more energy and power. Despite their sharp quills, however, they're mainly used for intimidation, and, and they prefer to use their claws and their beak as their main ways of defense, lunging at their opponents with their claws splayed out, ready to slash and tear. Most of the time, however, they can easily be tricked, and seasoned carnivore pairs, such as Panzer Venators and Cocodonna Venatrix packs, will dash in with a fake attack, let the Plectrosaura take the bait, and their partners will go for the softer neck of the Plectrosaura. Despite this, however, these animals are still no easy task to take down, and only the aforementioned ruling monarchs, such as the Panzer Venator and Cocaridon of Venatrix, are actually capable of doing that specific way of hunting them. Other smaller animals have to rely on larger numbers to take them down. These animals live in small herds, usually up to 8 to 10 adult individuals, however larger herds can exist, and they are frequently seen herding with their Palusaurus cousins, as Palusaurus have superior vision and senses than they do acting as early warning systems. They mainly have a diet of ferns, bushes, and other low-growth vegetation, meaning that Palusaurus can herd with them without much issue. As Plectrosaura prefer to eat plants that most animals, even including the Palusaurus, don't like. There is almost no sexual dimorphism between the two animals, between the two genders. The only difference is that males are larger than females and are more aggressive. Males will be seen commonly fighting other males within their herd for dominance, but the fights rarely ever go deadly, usually ending in just a few bites and a push. One of the strangest members of the Insulosaurs, the Therasonychus is a 2.4 ton animal present only on the main island swamps and rivers, by far the largest of the Insulosaurs alive today, and in general, they look more like a Dinochires and they seem to have converged on a similar body plan and similar niche, with the Therasonychus being an omnivore eating both small fish and plants of all sorts. They get their name from their large scythe-like finger claw used for slashing fish or grabbing slash hooking aquatic plants to bring to its mouth to feed, or for what it's more known for, for slashing and clawing at the many, many carnivores of the swamps and rivers of Cryptadia. The Therosonychus is an animal only found where there is large concentrations of water, meaning rivers, lakes, and swamps are a common sight to see these animals. Usually, Therosonychus are docile and less threatened, so many scientists, paleontologists, and animal fans that have made their way to Cryptadia have been able to get close to these creatures without fear of getting slashed or get their face ripped off too much, but they mustn't feel too comfortable for any loud noise or super bright light can easily scare these creatures into a rampage. Males of the species tend to be larger and more colorful with a pair of brow feathers used as display for intimidation and attracting potential mates and are only aggressive during the mating season. Females on the other hand are far more aggressive, especially with their young and angry. An angry mother Therosonychus will stop at nothing to ensure her young safety, and females are often seen killing any nearby animal they perceive as a threat to themselves and to their young, including other Therosonychus. The Inselschwanz, also known as the Tail Lizard or the Island's Tail, the Inselschwanz is the other strange member of the Insulosaur family and is found on the main island and southern island. As the name suggests, this animal has a long tail, longer than its entire front half of the body, used as a defensive weapon. The 
instant response will use its tail to slam any carnivores that dare to hunt it. If a carnivore ends up trying to strike the front, they will find that the front is no easy target either, as the instant response will rear up and grab the carnivore if it's small enough and drag it close to its chest spikes, stabbing it with said chest spikes before clawing it with its massive array of huge claws, before finally ripping whatever creature it has in its hands wide open. If the creature is small enough, the instant response may even rip it in half. And with a weight of 2.1 tons, the second largest Incidosaur has only the ruling monarchs to fear. But on the southern island exists a rival of sorts to the Inselschwanz, an ancient enemy to them. But we'll cover that animal in a later video. Males have brightly colored tails, while females do not, and males are commonly seen around the edges of a herd, but will never interact with said herd unless it's the mating season or if the herd needs protecting. If any of his females have a young male that reaches adolescence, he will barge into the herd and kick the young buck out. If the young buck doesn't leave in 24 hours, the bull will kill it as he sees his male young offspring as potential rivals and a threat to his rule and to his harem. The Lentosaurus. Being the arid habitat specialist of the Insulosaurs, this animal is commonly found in the savannas and scrublands of Cryptadia, consisting a diet of dry leaves, grasses, and ferns, and supplementing their diet with hardy nuts and sweet fruits that are commonly left behind by herds of Tupahadros, and even at times, large insects and other small animals will be in their menu. With a weight of 912 kilos on average, they are able to comfortably live this hardy life by indulging themselves into these hardy foods. Even if their palosaur cousins, which frequently visit their arid habitat, also eat similar foods, they are not able to feed on the same level of the Lentosaurus can. In a situation where a Lentosaurus needs to defend itself, its first choice would be to run to its burrow and let its heart back be the only exposed part of the body. But if need be, an adult Lentosaurus can turn and bite and slash at their attacker. Their scales are quite strong, on par with the thick hide of rhinos or elephants despite their smaller size. Lentosaurs are usually found either alone or in small groups of three to four. They don't have a leader in these groups, rather sticking together to finding food and for protection in numbers. Surprisingly, Lentosaurs are the only other Insulosaur that are monogamous, forming lifelong bonds with their chosen mate and leaving them if their mate either dies or disappears without any trace left of them. Males have bright yellow colors, and females tend to have darker, more brownish colors. Both sexes take care of their young equally, with some pairs having shifts on when they would take care of their young. Both parents are dangerous opponents if angered, and Lentosaur pairs are often seen scaring off even young Cocheridona Venetrix without much incident. Of course, if an adult Cocheridona Venetrix were to attack, the Lentosaurs would have no choice but to flee. That is it for the Insulosaurs of Cryptadia. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing as well. Let me know which Insulosaurs was your guys' favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The video will be titled, The Volumosaurs, Thyreophorans of Cryptadia. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.